Hi Virgo, Mary here with your weekly forecast for the week of May 14th, 2018. And I'll pull some tarot cards, some angel cards, and then an oracle card. The first card up is the Page of Swords, followed by the Four of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Okay. So the Page of Swords, I feel like this is a communication coming in. Um, you're going to have some sort of communication this week that's going to bring clarity. Either that or it could be a young energy coming into your life with the air sign of uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, but it could be, yeah, a communication coming in a phone call, email, letter, something like that. And then we have the Four of Cups. So this gentleman is looking at this cup here that's out of his reach. He just wants it. It's what he wants. He doesn't realize that he has three cups right next to him, easily in, within his reach. So he's reaching for something that he can't have. So you may be looking for something um, that you want to happen this week and it's just not happening for you. Um, don't be rigid in looking at just one thing. Try to be open to the possibilities this week. Try to be flexible and open because if you just look at one cup, you're going to miss the other opportunities that could be coming your way this week. Okay. And the next card up is the Five of Wands. So this card tells me there could be some conflict for you this week. You might be feeling conflict or chaos of some sort. You know, they're, it looks like they're in a battle, but nobody's touching each other. There's no winners. There's no losers. Um, it's all for naught. So try to stay out of any drama if you can this week. It's not going to be helpful. Okay, so I'm going to choose some cards from... Uh, Doreen Virtues, Daily Guidance from the Angels. Joy. This is all about living your passion. What makes you tick? What, what makes you feel passionate? What do you feel joyful about? That's what you want to um, really uh, get in touch with this week. That's going to help you move forward. Uh, what brings you passion? Sometimes we get into the Monday daily living and we forget why it is we're doing what we're doing <laughs> to begin with, why we started what we started, you know. Just try to feel that joy. Um, this is Spiritual Abundance from Kyle Gray's Angel Prayers. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. So you have abundance. You have what you need. Um, you have these cups. They're full. Um, you just don't see them. So you may have to open your eyes uh, to the abundance that you already have in your life and feel some gratitude. That will help to bring other things into your life. Live your joy. <laughs> so we have two joy cards here. So I think it's really, <clears throat> excuse me, it's really important for you to, um, to be joyful, have some fun, play. Um, don't get too serious. Don't get caught up in drama this week. Um, yeah, that's good advice for everybody, right? <clears throat> the next card up is Time to Go. This is from Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed uh, The number is nine. Nine is all about closing up a chapter in your life as you move forward towards a new chapter. So... Whatever message came in for you, I feel like you got a message this week. Um, as long as you stay out of the drama and just go inside and know what gives you joy, um, that's going to help you to decide which way to go. You may be leaving something behind, uh, either a relationship, a job, a career. Um, go for what brings you joy. I think I've said that like two four times. <laughs> but you may be leaving something this week.
the next card up from Kyle Gray's Keepers of the Light is Sanat Kamura, Light Activation. Shine your light. Your, inter <clears throat> your internal guidance, excuse me, is coming through loud and clear. So that's your intuition. Listen to it this week. Know what brings you joy. Have some fun. Play. Stay out of drama. Um, and be grateful for what it is that you do have. You might be leaving something behind, uh, a chapter of your life behind. Maybe after you get this, um, this uh, communication that comes in. Okay, Virgo, I hope that this is helpful, helpful for you in some small way. I'm not really sure what it means. <laughs> I'm hoping you do. Um, if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next time. Thank you.